Hey guys, welcome to another video. And today I want to talk about JavaScript or JavaScript in React in particular and how to use dates. Now, most people will know that JavaScript has the, the date function built into it, but it's really difficult to do anything with it. And it's one of the biggest pain points I had when I moved from C Sharp and PHP over to JavaScript frameworks. So I'm gonna introduce you to a library called Moment.js, which was an absolute lifesaver for me. Let's take a look. So moment.js.com um, and to install this library, it's simply npm install moment hyphen hyphen save. Their documentation is actually really, really good. But like most things that are new to people, it can be a bit overwhelming with the sheer volume of features and functions that this library has. So what I want to do is show you a few examples of the most commonly used ways that I would use Moment, which will hopefully get you started a lot quicker. So I'll move that out of the way. So if we take a look here at the moment, I've got um, a very basic component, an array of people, and I'm mapping and outputting those people into the browser. Uh, just clear the console. Um, console, clear. Um, and I'm outputting those people because by the end of this tutorial, we're going to look at how we can filter data or condition data based on dates. Um, for now, if I refresh this page, you'll see that I'm outputting the standard JavaScript um, date function and I get a date. And like I said before, it's really difficult to try and play with these dates or set up conditions based on something being before or after today's date. So. Let's go ahead and remove that. And instead, we're going to have already installed the library. So we'll import moment from moment. So we now have access to that moment library. And I'll just console out a new moment. Hit save. Let's refresh the page. So this is now console logging a moment object. And you'll notice inside of the moment object, we've got the current date. Um, which in all fairness is what JavaScript was getting us using the new date function. Um, but it's there's a few other properties in here. Is a moment object true? So it's confirming that what's there is a moment object. Um, is UTC, is valid, is valid is really good because that's telling us that the date that's produced is a valid date. Now that might seem obvious to you because we've just asked moment to give us a date, but you can actually pre-fill um, or pre-format dates. And so is valid can be quite useful. Uh, we'll cover that in a minute. So the next thing to do with moment would be to format it. So let's give it a dot format. And then here you can put a string and on their documentation, it tells you all the different variations of the strings you can put in here to format the dates. But we'll do a simple day, day, month, month, year, year, and hit save. And you'll see here in the console now, we've got the moment object, and then we've got the date formatted. Um, we could also pass a date in here. So we could say the default date is 2023, which is January, 2023 in ISO format. Um, and then we're asking moment to create a date object from that date and format it in the way that we've requested. So if I hit save, we've now got the 1st of January, 2023. Just to go back to the, the feature that I mentioned a moment ago about is valid. If we were to put a random string in here and hit save, it's going to say invalid date. And what we can do on the end of this is say dot is valid and hit save. And oh, there's a function. So there we go. Ah, sorry, we need to remove the formatting is valid comes before the formatting. So if we refresh now, it says false. Um, and we've got a warning that the date provided is not in a recognized format because we've just entered a, a list of random strings. Um, if I go back to 2023-0101 and is valid and refresh the page, then we've got true because it is a valid date. Just to give you a few other examples of the types of formatting we do, you can do, if I remove this, um, some of the most common are Year, 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 month, month, day, day, obvious one. Um, day, day, month, month, 
year year like I did. You could do um, day day, uh, month month day day, year 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 year, and we get it in that format. Um, we could also do D lowercase O M M M year year, and we'll get fourth of April twenty three or year 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 year. And the list is endless. You can literally format these dates however you want to use them. Another great feature of Moment.js is the manipulating of a date. So we could say that we want to create a Moment object from the date 2023.01.01, for example. And then we could say add, which is a function, um, one, and then a string for the period that we want to add. So if we hit save, we get one month from the 1st of January 2023 is the 1st of February 2023. Or we could say add um, a week, a day, um, a year, or four years, hit save, 1st of January 2027. And we can also use the subtract. Subtract four years and hit save, 1st of January 2019. You could um, do add minus four years, which again will give you the 1st of January 2019. And the reason I mention that is because if at any point you're iterating through something or you're doing a for each loop, you may want to start with a negative number and end with a positive number. Um, so instead of you having to decide whether to use add or subtract based on that number or that integer being positive or negative, you could just use the add or the subtract and pass it a positive or a negative number. The other most used feature of Moment is whether something is before or after a certain date. So if I just remove this here, so we'll say if the, in fact, we'll stick with 2023, 0101. So we can say create a moment object for the 1st of January 2023 and say is before, which is a function. And inside that function, we pass another moment object. So we'll say moment 2020, oh, put it in a string, 2024 hyphen 01 hyphen 11. And that should then pass us a, what have I done there? Ah, got the bracket. So I've just refreshed the page to clear the console. So that is true. So <clears throat> we're basically saying, is January the 1st, 2023, before 2024, or the 11th of January, 2024? We could say, by removing this date, is the 1st of January, 2023, before now. So moment by itself is a now, and it's true. The other function is is after, which is false, because the 1st January 2023 isn't after today. So that hopefully gives you a good grounding in the way that Moment.js can be used to create date objects, um, preset those dates, condition the dates, and match or um, check if a date is before or after a certain date, which in 90% of the cases is mostly what I do with dates. It's very rarely that I do much else. Um, but to give you a functional example, if we go back, let's just clear that for a minute. If we go back to outputting all of the people here, copy this object, and I'll show you, I'll call this filtered people. I'll show you how you can loop through this object and only showing people that started after, say, uh, the f uh, what should we say, the, for the 15th of January 2023. So instead of just mapping through the people, we could actually add a filter on. So we'll say people.filter object. And if you don't know about the filter option, I'm shortly going to be putting up a video on the filter function for arrays. So make sure you uh, subscribe to the channel if you want to be notified when I upload that video. Um, and we'll say p.start. So we're 
checking against the start date of the person. Um, in fact, we need to wrap it in a moment. So we create a moment object of p dot start dot is after say a moment object with twenty twenty three o one fifteen. So we're saying filter the people array with anybody that has a start date after the 15th of January, 2023. And then we're mapping through because the filter creates a, a basically a new array. We're mapping through and outputting the people. So if we hit save on that, we can then see that we've only got three people in the filtered people that started after the 15th of January, 2023. Yeah, one, two, three. So hopefully that's a good introduction in the way that you can use moment.js instead of the native date function in JavaScript to be able to create, manipulate, check, and validate dates in your JavaScript or React applications. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.